Hello YouTube. How we doing today? Be aware, this video will contain some mid to late game story mission spoilers. You're welcome to hang out and come along for the ride. Just be aware, this video will contain some story mission spoilers. What I'm doing right now, I'm at that critical moment in my personal playthrough where you follow Iron Mike down south through the Tielsen Pass to the militia camps in the I-97 and Crater Lake area. On my personal playthroughs, just to get the best start that you possibly can, I like to collect all the bounties available and fill up my inventory with bounties and meats as well before I head to those southern militia camps. That way, as soon as I get to those camps, I'm maxed out on bounties and things like that. I have plenty of items to trade to increase my trust and credits with the militia camps. The Diamond Lake camp down there is great for end game motorcycle upgrades, and the Wizard Island camp is great for end game weapons. So I like to be maxed out when I first get there. Time to go. I want to put an attractor beside this truck to get them grouping up at the truck. And then I will use an attractor bomb to actually detonate the truck. Okay. Now we'll put some more grenades on them as they try to cross this fence. Alright. We've done all the damage we can do right there. Now let's lead them to the next truck. Put the attractor right beside it. Break line of sight. Create distance. Now be ready to pop the truck. Next truck. Break line of sight. Give them a moment to get gathered up at the truck. Alright, and then bring the stragglers to the next truck. I want them on that side of it so that I can break line of sight here. Got a few stragglers. Just this one. <laughs> nice. Okay. And that's the Iron Butte Horde done. Now, moving on to the sawmill.